Just to give you an idea of where I was shooting today, you can see the large blue blob up uh, the western side of the lake. I was underneath a large alder tree there, shooting towards the northern end of the lake where the stream comes in, and that's where the muskrat had been swimming in and out. At this point, I decided to take a follow-up shot and then, of course, have a magazine failure. So I uh, didn't take the follow-up shot, but realised that he was dead as soon as he stopped moving. It was a pretty good headshot. I hope you can hear me over all the rain. This is my first ever muskrat. The main difference between them and koi pews is obviously the size. This one is 30 centimeters long in the body. And about 50 centimeters overall, slightly more. The other big difference is the tail. The muskrat's tail is flattened vertically and it flaps it from side to side as it swims along. Unlike the koi pew which just has a sort of straight rat tail and doesn't move it as it swims. So this is an adult muskrat. They're quite common in France, same as koi pews, and if anything they cause more damage because they dig smaller tunnels but they dig a lot of them. And koi pews quite often will come along behind uh, after the uh, muskrats have started taking over a lake or a canal. They will chase them out, literally, I've seen it happen. And then they'll take over the burrows and enlarge them. So uh, muskrats can do a lot of damage on their own. And then koi pews will come along and make a complete mess of everything. The other big difference is the teeth. Muskrat teeth are much smaller and white, same as their claws. Koi pew claws tend to be darker in colour and their teeth are a sort of yellowy orange and much much bigger up to five six centimetres. So this is basically a, a big rat that happens to swim around in the water. Let's see if we can find the uh, entry wound, I certainly can find the exit wound. Pretty big exit wound here. Erupted out of its neck. I was aiming at the back of the skull, around about here. All right. I think just there is the entry wound. So I was aiming from behind on the left. It transited the rear of the brain, came out just underneath the right ear, instant kill. And if you can see this very well, the tail is flattened vertically, that's the bottom, that's the top. It's quite flat when you look at it side on. Right, let's see how much he weighs. Okay, so the scales are on zero. I'll just uh, string him up. As I thought, about a kilo. That's about average for a fully adult muskrat and obviously since koi pews can grow up to 10 kilos, 11 in some cases like the one I found last week, there's quite a difference in size. Still, wouldn't want to find one running around inside your house. Thanks for watching.